Hello. Many of you know me, many of you don't. If you don't, my name is Kenny Collins. I live in or near Portland, Oregon, USA, United States of America. I've been a YouTuber for a while now. I've been an author, an entrepreneur. Uh, I basically work for myself. I've always been interested in the paranormal, mysteries, and I've always been creative in such ways of investigation as well as fiction and studying what goes on around me. In the past few years, I've been able to make an income making found footage horror films, much of which have been artificial and manufactured and fake, sort of like the Blair Witch Project or Paranormal Activity. Although some of what I do film is real, a lot of it's fake. I plan on doing an investigation, the first of its kind for me. I've never done an actual investigation to this grand of a scale. A lot of you have heard of Kenny Veach. If you're watching this video, it's because you either know who I am or it's because you know who he is. Kenny Veach was a hiker and a YouTuber like me. He made videos uh, a lot of the time near the uh, southwestern portion of the United States going on hikes in the hills, the mountains, and the desert. One of which is known to be famous uh, as the M-shaped cave hike, where he says that he hiked for 12, 10 to 12 hours out into the middle of the desert near Las Vegas, Nevada and Nellis Air Force Base. And he found a, an M-shaped cave. Now, um, this cave, he said, usually he enters every cave that he goes into, and he's been in more caves than he can describe at the moment, or even ever count. But he says as he gets closer to the entrance of this cave, his body starts to vibrate and starts to shake. And it's an uncontrollable feeling. And when he nears the entrance, even closer, he ends up running away in fear. Now, he talks about this on YouTube and Reddit, I know. And he describes to a lot of the people who were replying to him uh, back and forth for about eight months to a year until he finally agrees to return to this cave. And he actually tries to do so in a 25 minute video uploaded on his YouTube channel. And when he does so, he fails to find the cave the first time. He says he's gonna film another video and do it again a few months later. And in October of 2014, he leaves to go find this M-shaped cave, the one that gave him this strange experience again, and he disappears, and he's not been seen since. This is a real disappearance. There's been videos documenting uh, the actual investigation. There's a police investigation in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, Kenny Veach, look it up, it's a V, as in Victor, Venus, Vagina. Kenny Veach, V-E-A-C-H. Look up Kenny Veach M-shaped cave disappearance. You'll find his videos and other videos documenting his disappearance. My plan is to do an investigation. I've gone to Nevada before. I've actually filmed an entire movie there that has not been uploaded yet. Where I went on to, uh, I went as close as you can get to Area 51. Um, there's a farm out there. Uh, a farmer who I don't want to name because I don't want to. I guess I don't want to take away his um, identity, but you can also find his identity out by looking up the black mailbox at Area 51, the black mailbox, which is now actually removed. There's a new black mailbox, which I have a video of the new one. Um, it's this farmer. I stayed on his property, the closest you can actually get to Area 51, because we're actually on the base. He has to radio in when we pass through a few different borders. He has to actually has to radio into the base and tell them that he's coming in. Anyway, I plan on flying down there, maybe even getting me some dirt bikes so we don't have to make the 10 mile or 10 hour hike. Even though I am used to walking, I walk 10 to 20 miles a day. I'm walking all day long, I'm used to it. It's not gonna be an issue for me. My body can take the limits. I wanna take people with me, I wanna take cameras with me, I wanna take microphones with me, I wanna take every single form of documentation possible um, even, even maybe even a seismic reader, to, uh, to, well, I'll, everything. Um, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to do this. It's my first investigation of the sort. I want to find out what happened to this guy, because out of all the uh, 
videos on YouTube that I watch with this sort of uh, mystery, with this sort of, I don't know, bizarre connotation. This one has uh, really hit the strongest note with me. And me and my team, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna make this happen. And either we're gonna go missing, or we're gonna find him. I don't know if it's weird that his last video was uploaded on my birthday, or that we share the first same first name, but uh, this is gonna happen if it's the last thing I do. That's why I make this video. And you can look through my channel right now. If you don't know who I am, go through my videos, check out my other horror things. I said some are fake, because I'm a filmmaker, and some are real. Um, because I am also really into the paranormal and investigations, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm not making a film per se for fiction, more so for fact. So please check out the rest of my catalog. And if you already know who I am, please look up Kenny Veach. I already said how the name is spelled. But please, stay tuned. Let me know what you think. I do have some other projects that are going to be uploaded uh, shortly and before I take off. I'd say maybe more in the late fall, early winter time, I'll be heading out to uh, Vegas or this area to do this investigation, but I still have some time beforehand to uh, get the money, get the idea get the people I need and get the plan because you don't just fly out and do something like this out of the blue you get your plan and I've been inspired I know what I want to do we're gonna find this Kenny Beach we are going to find him whether he's dead or alive or whether we die doing it and we will find a way to broadcast live if we have to unless there's no cell service or data of course but either way We're gonna make it work. So subscribe to this channel, stay updated, because I will post updates on the events of this. I'll post one uh, every, say, third week, uh, fourth week, every month. Today I believe is the, the sixth or the seventh, today is the seventh. I will upload a video on September 7th, uh, discussing this further, and then one on October 7th, with the final update before we leave. Unless, of course, I decide it happens later. But this will happen in 2016. We will find out what happened to Kenny Veach in 2016. I promise you that. So please, subscribe. Watch my other videos. This is happening.